Hi all. In this video, let's discuss about call, apply, and bind in JavaScript with the simple examples. So let's see that. So I have a function like x. Uh, I'm calling this function. Okay, fine. We have a function and we could able to call that function. Then what is the need for using call and apply? Let's see that. So in this function, I'm trying to return this. Okay. Let's see what here it would print in the browser. So it returns an window object. This is because by default in, in a browser, the default context would be set to the window object. So here in the global context, this is referred to the window object. So what if, if you wanted to control this context? So you're trying to call a function. And if you want to control the context of your own, you can pass or you can own whatever the context you want. So you can pass the object or instance, whatever you want by calling a function. So that's the need of using call and bind, apply bind. So let's see that. So for example, if I have a function like this, so here I have a variable a is equal to one and I have taken an object name and I have a property a as two. So now I'm calling, uh, I have a function in that function, I'm trying to return this dot a. So usually if I call this, I'm trying to call this test function like this. So what does it returns? This dot a, what does it returns? It returns a is equal to one or a is equal to uh, two. Obviously, if you just call this as a method, it returns a is one because here, this a is binded to global context. It is binded to the global context, which in our case, it is a window. So that's the reason if you call test function like this, it goes to here and it returns this dot a, it will find it is attached to the window object. So it will return back this dot a as one. Here we'll be getting the value as one, output would be one. So what if, if we want to access this object's property a, in that reason, we can use call function like this, test dot call. We are calling this function and we are passing our own context. So this is the object and we are trying to create our own context. We are trying to pass this context to this function so that now here, this is not referred to the global context here. This is referred to this context. I mean this object. So now call has two parameters. One first one would be the context and second one would be the list of parameters. Let's see that later. So now here in this case, test dot call names here, the value of this would be returning as two. Let's check that. So here we got first console as one and second console as two. The first is directly, it is referring to the global context. And for the call, we are trying to call the test function with a passing our own context. So there won't be any much difference between the call and apply in terms of uh, passing the parameters. But in terms of the second argument, th there will be a difference. For, we can remember that in this way. For call, we need to pass the parameters in terms of comma separated. So C for call, C and C comma separated. We need to pass the parameters like this, one comma two. So whereas in the apply, you need to pass the parameters in terms of array. The second argument would be passing the parameters that we need to do in terms of parameter. So that we can, Remember like this apply, we need to pass as array. So we can remember like this A, if it is an apply, you need to pass the parameters as an array. If it is a call, you need to pass the parameters as a comma separated. So that we have done here. So that's the main difference between call and apply. The second argument would be the list of parameters and here it is an array. Here we can call a function with our own context. So that's the main difference. And remember one thing, this call function will call immediately. As soon as when we write this call function, this function would be called. So let's uh, write two more parameters here to make sure it works with the second argument. And I'm trying to add these two parameters. So now let's check. We are calling this function and here this dot a would be the two and we are passing two more parameters. Those two parameters would be going to B and C for call and the same applies to the apply as well. So let's check that. So we got five and five, two plus one plus two. So five, we got correctly, yep. 
So this is about call and apply. One more difference is like call executes immediately and it will not create any copy of the function. It will directly manipulate the original function. So let's discuss that with bind. So when we discuss with bind, we can learn more. Like uh, now I'm binding this test function with numbers object. So here it will not directly execute. The main difference between bind call and apply is bind will not immediately executes. It will not execute immediately. Now, if I print this, it will return a function. It will not written, it will not execute straight away. It will return a function. Thereafter, we can use that function. Now, this function is a copy of the original function. So the two points we need to remember is, the first point is bind will not call immediately. We can use it to call later. It will call later. We can call, we can hold this function reference here and you can call this any uh, anywhere in the function as a normal function. That's the main advantage of using bind. Whereas for the call, it will call immediately the function and thereafter we can't use it further. But with the bind, if you bind this with uh, test and nums, we can use this reference function anywhere in the application. So whereas the second point is we are manipulating, it is uh, we are manipulating the copy of the function. Here a copy of the function was created. We are manipulating on that copy of function. Whereas for the call and apply, it is directly working on the original function. So that's the main difference. Here it will create a copy of function. So now, now let's see. So in this console, it has written the function, function reference itself. So now in order to use that function, I need to pass. Now here I got a function like this. I need to pass two more parameters to these variables. Now we'll get the same result. We have passed two and three to the parameters and we have binded this test function with the nems object. So that's the main differences between call, apply and bind with a simple JavaScript example. Hope you understand the video. Thanks for watching.